Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to the first ever video in the world that features every single dinosaur and prehistoric animal figure from Takara Tomi Animal Adventure Series. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with the individual packs right over here. And let's begin with number one, AL01, the first Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's take a look at this. So basically, each box comes with a card which contains some information on the dinosaur. Some has Japanese text and some has English text. So right over here, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex and let's take a look and each box comes with an individual illustration. It's super awesome. Let's take a look at the very first Tyrannosaurus Rex and how cool is this? This is really classic looking. I like it. Brown T-Rex with an articulated tail, two joints of articulation right over here, some damage pin over here, really sad about that. And you can actually open and close the jaw, and you can move the hind legs as well. Super awesome, the Tyrant Lizard King. So which one is AL02? Let's have a look. AL02, it's the Triceratops. Three horn face and where is our Triceratops figure? It is right over here and let's open this up. You guys must be wondering where can I purchase all of these Takara Tomi dinosaur figures. You can get them on Amazon, okay? I'm gonna place some links down below to my Amazon affiliate links, which means when you purchase them, I will get like a little fee but you know, the price that you purchase is still the same. Triceratops right over here, the three horn face, very nice, amazing details. You can move the head, you can move it up and down. Some nice texture on um, the horns, very awesome. For this figure, you can't move the legs, but I like the big light mouth. Really awesome, I like it. Triceratops. Super cool. Let's place this right over here. Maybe we shall move the Ankylosaurus to another side. You guys must be wondering why is this Ankylosaurus doing here without a packaging? I will explain to you guys later. Let's move on to AL03. Stagosaurus right over here. Have a look at this. Beautiful illustration. The length of a Stegosaurus is 9 meters long. Let's open this up. It is a herbivorous dinosaur. I'm pretty sure that you guys know it by now. Okay, let me just place the plastic bag back into the box so I will have an easier time when I'm keeping them later. Okay, so basically we have a Stegosaurus right over here. Very nice, I actually like this quite a lot. Very nice paint job. Beautiful mix of paint. I love the green and this um, orange splash of paint right in the middle of this bony plate. Incredible details. You can see every individual scale nicely crafted. You can even see the nails nicely painted as well. You can see some veins right over here. Muscle definition. You can move the tail up and down. You can even rotate it. Very nice texture on the spikes right at the end of the tail. Awesome. I like this. So this is AL03. And AL04, what is that? Let's have a look. Oops. Place them wrongly. Let's see. AL04, it's the Brachiosaurus. Cool. Let's move on to the Brachiosaurus, which is known as the Arm Lizard. Okay, let's turn it around. Beautiful illustration right over here. The length of it is 26 meters long. And how tall is that? I mean, how long is that? Okay, just place the back back into the box and let's have a look at this beautiful sauropod dinosaur, the arm lizard. One, two, three. Three points of articulation. One, two, and two points of articulation at the tail. Huge belly right over here, okay? Long front legs as compared to the hind legs. Amazing head, 
sculpt i like it if they can actually make the joints less visible that will be really awesome so we have a brachiosaurus right over here you can rotate the head very nicely awesome stuff and this guy can actually stand pretty well where is AL05? Let's try to find that. Hmm, AL05, I think it is this, which is weird. I have no idea why they place this as AL05. This is actually a whale shark, which is totally unrelated to dinosaurs. But let's skip to AL06, Pteranodon. A pteranodon is not a dinosaur, it's a prehistoric flying reptile and this figure actually came with two cards, one in English and one in Japanese. So let's have a look at pteranodon. Let's open this up. This little fish right over here is missing. I think I've placed it in another bag. That's fine, let's take a look at this. This prehistoric flying reptile, okay? Which is the most favorite prehistoric flying reptile? For me, I'm gonna go with um, Ranfurhynchus. I think it looks really awesome. There's like Dimorphodons, um, Anhanguera. There's so many of them I can't remember right now. Okay, next, let's see. Let's move on. Let me adjust the camera. Let's move on to AL07. AL07 is the Wooly Mammoth and this only came with one card but there are two figures in this pack so that is actually pretty good value okay you're actually getting two figures in one box and the price remains the same how cool is that okay so basically we have a baby Wooly Mammoth I'll place it right over here first and the adult one Okay, these two figures, they look super awesome. Okay, this is actually a prehistoric elephant. They're closely related to Asian elephants. Okay, you can move the trunk. You can't move the legs, but you can rotate the head slightly only. You can move it up and down. Very awesome. I love this curvy tars. They look super cool. For the baby mammoth, you can only rotate the head, but not the the body but it looks super cute take a look at how cute this is okay let's move on to the next one which is Futabasaurus okay it is a plesiosaur let's have a look mm, nice okay this box is slightly damaged I like to keep the box I'm just running out of space at home Let's have a look at this beautiful marine reptile. Let's take a look at this beautiful paint job. One, two, three. Three points of articulation. You can't close the mouth. You can move it like this, up and down, rotate it. Super awesome. You can move the flippers as well. Futabrasaurus. It is known as the Futaba lizard. Okay, super awesome. It is not a dinosaur. It is a prehistoric marine reptile okay let's move on to the next item saber tooth cat or saber tooth tiger or smaller dome okay let's have a look Can I place this dinosaurs over here so that we have a better background okay smaller dome it comes with this prehistoric man which is known as the homo nidatalensis okay so let's have a look So once again, it comes with two figures. One is the cat, and the other one is the prehistoric man. Okay, this prehistoric man can actually stand only when you place this rock at the um, back of its foot. Okay, like this, take a look. Without the rock, it cannot stand on its own, okay? So we have a saber-tooth cat right over here. The Articulation for this is really, really limited. You can only open this small little jar. Um, the limbs can't be moved, but this in terms of the posture, it looks brilliant. I love the paint job. 
some nice little spots. You can see some nice details on the fur. I love it. Smaller dog. Really awesome. This is actually my most favorite prehistoric animal. What is the most favorite prehistoric animal? Is it like the woolly mammoth? Or, um, smaller dog? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so basically it comes with this. This is known as the Homo sapiens, Nindatolensis. Okay, super awesome. Okay, next. Okay, and all these figures, they are actually from 2015, okay? 2015 to 2016. The next one is actually a new figure from 2017, early 2017. Some places like Japan, you can actually get them like late 2016. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness, it is right at the bottom. So let me just remove this first and let's have a look at the Velociraptor. This is actually the first raptor from Takara told me. It is weird, at the back you actually had a feathered raptor, but the figure is not. It is a featherless raptor. Okay. And this set once again came with two pieces. One is the figure, and the other figure is actually the tree. Okay, take a look at this. Not too sure what type of tree this is. It could be like a um, palm tree. There are no coconuts down here. You can see some amazing details even at the bottom of those leaves. Some nice pebbles and rocks on this little base. Nice texturing on um, the trunk of the tree. Looks awesome. And this is the raptor. So only two points of articulation, but I love the improvement on the texturing of the skin. Okay, if you make a comparison for example with um, the t-rex i think this looks more uh, realistic this is like way too um, specific okay so a raptor you can actually open and close the mouth which looks brilliant nice sickle claw okay nice there's actually another um Raptor, which I will show you later on, okay? It's a different paint job. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Oops. Raptor. This is AL12, and let's move on to AL13. AL13 is actually a very new release, which was just released like um, in July, okay? This is a feathered T-Rex. Very awesome. Let's take a look. Feathered T-Rex. How cool is this? Okay, take a look at this gray T-Rex. So this T-Rex looks very similar to the original one. Okay, take a look at this. The sculpt is like entirely the same. As you guys can see, the fingers look slightly different. Okay. Other than that, they look exactly the same. But the feathered T-Rex has some additional feathers on top of his body. Can you see that? Okay. It's not obvious. I actually wish they um, added more feathers to make it more um, obvious. You can't really see it. And maybe the paint job should be more different. There should be a, a, a better contrast of the feathers and the scales. I think that will look really awesome like that of an ostrich maybe like a pinkish or brownish body with some bright colored feathers that look super awesome you can open and close the mouth which is um, much easier than um, the previous version which is which was really tight this is like super smooth awesome stuff you can move the legs as well and the tail let's place this t-rex right over here okay and let's move on to the next dinosaur. The next one is the Ankylosaurus, okay? This is also a brand new release from 2017 July, okay? Super cool, let's take a look at the Ankylosaurus. So we have a green Ankylosaurus. Awesome illustration right over here. Length of it, nine meters long. Okay, take a look at this Ankylosaurus, green Ankylosaurus, oh my goodness, earthquake. 
Okay, so basically this Ankylosaurus is exactly the same as the brown one right behind. Exact same sculpt as you guys can see, just a different paint job. This is not an individual figure. This came together in a Dinosaur Island playset. An exclusive figure which you cannot purchase individually. Maybe if you go on to eBay, you might be able to find this, you know, um, on auction. For me, I prefer the green one, okay? Super awesome, but this is like a limited edition. Much more limited than the green one. But both looks awesome, I love it. I actually love the Ankylosaurus figure a lot. One of the favorite from Takara Toby. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is the new Spinosaurus, the Quadrupedal Spinosaurus. What is Quadrupedal? Quadrupedal means the Spinosaurus is actually walking on four legs, okay? The older version, which I'm gonna show you guys in a while, which is right over here, it's a bipedal Spinosaurus. Comes together with um, a T-Rex. So this is like an improvement, I would say. This is based on Ibrahim's reconstruction of the Spinosaurus, okay? Very awesome, AL15, let's take a look. Really awesome stuff. Let's open this up, as you guys know. The Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic dinosaur, right? It preyed on fish and probably other living things, okay? So we have a new Spinosaurus right over here, two points of articulation. Can't move the legs, what a pity. Brilliant, vibrant paint, I love it. Very refreshing, though it looks slightly unrealistic. You guys prefer brighter colors or duller colors? Let's have a comparison later on. For me, hmm, maybe I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks brilliant. I, I love it. It looks like a dragon. Okay, gonna place him right over here. Just the camera. And let's see, next figure we have the Carnotaurus, the meat-eating bull. Carnotaurus can be found with a completed and well-preserved skeletonin at earliest among all the therapods of Abelosauridae family, okay? I'm not going to read this completely, but we have the meat-eating bull. Let's have a look. Turn the box over. Wow, as you guys can see, this Carnotaurus illustration, you know, features Carnotaurus in, um, in a pair of very slender legs. This is actually correct, because the Carnotaurus was a very fast dinosaur. Let's open this. Fast Predator. Okay, I might say this is definitely one of my favorite, if not my most favorite um, figure. Definitely my top three, okay? The paint job is amazing. I love this color combination. This palette is just amazing. It looks very realistic. It looks um, very um, earthy. It looks very, um, in a sense, military style. I like it a lot. But though the hit sculpt, the Conotaurus is not really realistic. Those two horns, they look too flat for my liking. They look like fins. But on the paint job, the details is incredible. And it's pretty refreshing to have a Conotaurus figure. Hopefully, Takara told me we'll be able to come up with more um, species. Next, I'm going to show you guys this set right over here, which was also released this year. This is a trio pack, which contains a red T-Rex, um, what do you call this color? Turquoise Raptor and a blue Mosasaurus, which looks like the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World Hasbro. Let's open this set up. This set is pretty cool. It comes with a paper diorama. What's a diorama? 
a diorama is like a background which you can use to display your dinosaur figures. So basically you can bend this upwards and clip these two parts together to form like a nice background for your dinosaur figures. Brilliant stuff as you guys can see with a volcano, pterodactyls, triceratops, Phrabasaurus, Parasaurolophus which means Takara told me will be coming out with Parasaurolophus figures very soon. With the Brachiosaurus right over here, Stegosaurus, some fossils and skeletons, some dragonflies and stuff. Okay, let's have a look at this set, which is a very very precious set of mine. I love them a lot. The Mosasaurus is definitely in my top five, if not my top three figures. Nice glossy paint. This is the only one with a nice shiny glossy paint. The reason why I feel it's because this is an aquatic um, figure, but in a way, the Plesiosaurus was not covered with glossy paint. So take a look at this, you can actually move the tail. Brilliant stuff. You can open and close the mouth. Awesome. This is really awesome, I love the Mosasaurus. You can handle it with great care. You do not want to scratch the surface of this dinosaur figures, okay? Once they are out of production, you can't find them anywhere else. So we have a red T-Rex over here which looks exactly the same as the brown T-Rex. Just with a different paint, okay? So there are plenty of T-Rexes around. Okay, next let's take a look at the maroon. Not maroon, I beg your pardon. The turquoise raptor. Which color do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer this green? Is this like olive green or this turquoise green? Wow, I love the eyes of this turquoise raptor. Bright orange with a stroke of black line right over there, right down the middle. Nice contrast, but I like the body color of this. Oops, oh my goodness, is it hurt? I think it's fine. Okay, next, let's see. I'm gonna open up this pack right over here. The duo pack. Green T-Rex and green Spinosaurus, which comes with another paperback diorama, which features some raptors, which we already have. Stegosaurus, some pteranodons. This one maybe is not a pteranodon, not too sure what this is. This could be like a Ramphorhynchus. Can you guys let me know? Brachiosaurus, some fossils. This should be the Ankylosaurus. And over here, good news of Patasaurus Studios. We have the Patasaurus right over here. Okay, so I think this should be the Apatosaurus. Maybe it's, it's a Diplodocus, I'm not too sure. So as you guys can see, Takara Tomi might be coming out with Apatosaurus very soon. Parasaurolophus, which for sure they, they are going to come up with them like sooner or later. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's take a look at this. Grrr. Spinosaurus. Do you guys prefer a bipedal Spinosaurus or a quadrupedal Spinosaurus? For me, I definitely prefer a Spinosaurus that is walking on two legs. This is incredible. The sail to me looks a little bit small. Too small, okay? Way too small. It's like carrying a little hunch. Not very nice, but I love the colors. The colors look amazing. Place him right over here. Let's, let's have a look at this, a green T-Rex, this is weird, this T-Rex is wearing like eyeliner, I'm not a huge fan of this, the colors looks dull, it looks, it looks like it is belly painted, I don't like it, I prefer a darker shade of green, that would be really awesome, and this set actually came to, with this nest of dinosaur eggs, and this little fish, which is known as the Kulukanth, not too sure how to pronounce that, I can't remember as well, so you guys, please forgive me. 
Okay, it's time for us to move on to other dinosaurs. And over here, we have this set, which was released in 2015, if I remember correctly. This is a mechanical T-Rex. Okay, let's place this in the box first, okay? Let's unbox this. We got this from like Toys R Us. Oops. So if you have a look at this, this T-Rex looks very much the same as what we have already seen. Okay, just less details and it is actually larger. Um, it has an on-off switch right at the bottom. So once you move the jaw, it will roll. So obviously, it will run out of battery soon. Okay, so you can replace it by opening this um, little cover right over here. A couple of different sounds, okay. Not a huge fan of this figure. Not a huge fan of this mechanical dinosaurs. Okay, let's have a look at the next mechanical dinosaur and this it's a triceratops okay pretty cool i like it let's have a look wait a minute so here we go similarly this is the same series as um from the same series as the mechanical t-rex so they actually only produce two different dinosaurs which produce sounds okay so turn it on and just move the heat downwards, I mean upwards. This T-Rex is actually very, very nicely done. If you compare this with, or, I mean this Triceratops, not T-Rex, it's actually very nicely done if you compare it with the T-Rex. It is very nicely detailed, very nice crafted scales. You can even see some wetted texture on the horns. Really awesome, but some sloppiness and this paint job right over here as you guys can see the eyelid is actually smudged with um the eyeball paint but this one over here is perfect okay not complaining but yep you can actually move the tail which is cool go place him right over here the sculpt is exactly the same as this one but the brown one definitely the cocky brown one definitely uh, you no, know, it is actually slightly different as you guys can see there's like this little false horn not exactly a false horn okay it's different but in a way they look pretty similar okay next let's move on to the new and the laters we have the new 2017 mechanical or rather kinetic energized um, dinosaurs so basically there are three of them. One is a Tyrannosaurus, and we have the Triceratops, and we have the Quadrupedal Spinosaurus right over there. And this is the AM01. Um, not too sure what AM means. It could be mechanical, I'm not too sure. Okay, so let's open this up. Huge mess on my floor. Okay, really huge mess. Okay, and this is going to be loud. Okay, just going to take me. Okay, take a look at this. So basically, this dinosaur. Okay, just going to adjust the camera. It comes with this little button or trigger. So once you press it, it will actually charge up the dinosaur. Take a look at this. It will walk, the mouth will actually open and close, and the tail will swing, okay? Let's try this again. Cool, can you see that? The mouth is actually opening and closing. The tail is not really moving for this, but the one for the Spinosaurus actually works very, very well. Okay, I love the Spinosaurus one, so let's have a look uh, maybe at the Spinosaurus one first. It is right at the bottom. So this is the one that I'm talking about. The Spinosaurus Mechanical Dinosaur AM03. Okay, let's open this. Where is the opening? OK, 
Shea. Spinosaurus. Cool. Take a look at this. This actually looks pretty cool. It doesn't come with those um, plastic thingy underneath the legs. You know, the T-Rex came together with that because it has some problems walking. But this is really fine, okay? As this is actually walking on four legs. So let's have a look. Let me just let me just move these dinosaurs away so that we have a so that we have more space. Come on, Spinosaurus, can you please stand up? Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, um, the scalp looks very similar to this. The paint job as well. Okay, there are actually two strokes as compared to this, which only has one stroke. This is blue and this is green, but they look very similar. Check this out. As you guys can see, the tail is actually moving very nicely. The neck is moving up and down. And the jaw is moving as well. It's pretty cool. It's really very nice as compared to the T-Rex. Okay, take a look at the face. This is awesome. I love the movement of this Spinosaurus. Really brilliant. Check this out once again. How cool is this? Super cool. Okay, let's move to the let's move on to the last one. The trike. Not a huge fan of this, okay? This is my least favorite among the three. The reason because is it's not because it's a trike, it's because of the eyes, okay? The eyes looks weird to me and it just looks too sloppy, I feel. Nothing much going on, just a head nodding and a tail just wiggling slightly, not much, okay? Not impressed with that. Let's move on to our last figures of the day. So over here, we have a new set. Not exactly a new set. This is like a special set for the good dinosaur. There are actually only three different figures. So we have Butch right over here. Butch the T-Rex. These are very nicely done. I suppose they're crafted using a 3D the 3D model from um, um, Pixar, is it Pixar? E yes, Pixar, yes. So yep, so this looks very movie accurate. As, um, they, may, they may have crafted this using the exact 3D model from Pixar. So yep, they look awesome. Butch, have you guys seen the movie? Pretty sure that you guys have seen it. And this is Arlo, Arlo the Apatosaurus, okay? Let's have a look. Arlo! Cool, super cool. The last one, we have a Velociraptor and this is known as Barbar. -Bar. Barbar. -Bar. Let's open this up. Bar Bar is like a villain. Oh my goodness. This bag is huge. Really huge bag. So this is Bar Bar the Velociraptor. Very nice paint job as you guys can see. This nice splash of purple paint. Some nice feathers. Yeah, this is what I'm referring to for the feathered T-Rex. You know, hopefully you know they can produce you know the feathers with much more contrasting paint um, to the body, right? That'll be really awesome. So it's holding on to, I mean, biting some, what is this, like, like some straw. Okay, looks cool. So that's all. As you guys can see, these are all the dinosaurs from Takara Tomi Animal Adventure series. Okay. Sorry, this is a mess, but this is the entire set. And I'm very sure this is the only video in the world that covers every single dinosaur and prehistoric animal from the Animal Adventure series from the character. I hope that you guys enjoy this and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. You know, it took me a long time to film this video, probably like 
over 40 minutes i'm not too sure so please give this video a like and if you manage to watch the entire video let me know in the comments by saying damn i have made it wow that'll be super awesome you are a super fan you are a dinosaur and if you are new here please subscribe for daily dinosaur videos we upload every single day okay and how cool is that Press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. Thanks for your amazing support. You guys are simply the best. I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. But before you go, check out this Takara Tomi videos. I mean, not Takara Tomi videos. The previous video right over here and another related video right over here. Subscribe to my main channel on the top and subscribe to my second channel right over here where I upload gaming videos and vlogs. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.